Hey everybody, welcome back to part 3 of my tower control tip series. The rest of the tips can be found in the video description below. If you already know these tips, great, but there are players who don't practice these or they're just simply new to the game. Anyway, let's get- wait a minute. He's not squid partying, get him! Squid party with us, he's getting away, get him! Lumi, no, you will not get away from us! <laughs> no, it is your destiny. You cannot fight it. Come back. Number 10. Teasing the tower. Did you know you can move the tower little by little without actually being on it? If you swim up past this point on the tower, the game thinks you got on it. You can constantly swim up the side to slowly move it. The benefit of this is that you're using the tower as a shield while you're being a sneaky squid and moving the tower up. Now, I don't, I do not recommend doing this every single time because it takes a very long time to move the tower this way. Standing on the tower will always be the fastest way to move it. So then, when do you use this technique? Use this when you're very close to taking the lead but there are just a lot of enemies shooting at the tower. You can steal the lead this way by using this technique. Number 11. Push Krakens off the tower. You've heard me say this many times before in my live streams. Do not be afraid of Krakens when they're on the tower. You can push them off like this. And I feel like this has to be a tip because I don't see people doing this. Don't be afraid of the Kraken. Push them off. Number 12. Know when to rush back for the tower. This is a common situation. Your team is pushing the tower and you're up ahead trying to clear the way for it. Then out of nowhere your team loses the tower like so. Should you go back for the tower? It depends. Look behind you and see if anyone is trying to get back on it. In this case I see my teammate already rushing for it. So I just stay where I am and I keep my position. You don't want to lose your position or the front lines if you can help it. But if you don't see anyone go back for the tower, you're going to have to leave your position and go back for it. Number 13. Don't let them increase their lead. If you remember from my previous video, I told you to get on the tower so you don't lose the lead. By the way, have you Inklings been practicing that and all of my other tips? Anyway, the exact same thing can be said when they already have the lead. Get on the tower and stop them from increasing their lead even more. I mean, that's common sense, right? But like I pointed out in the previous video, players are afraid to get on the tower. They just want to shoot from a distance. Take a look at this clip. We already took the lead and we're still moving closer to the goal. Why? Because this player is afraid to get on the tower and decides to shoot from a distance. Good luck trying to make a comeback from that. Now take a look at this clip. Again, we already have the lead. Let's keep track of the distance that we started this clip from. We started at 35 distance. Watch my team gain even more distance because the opponents were definitely afraid to get on the tower. Awesome! We pushed it all the way to 15 because they were afraid to get on it. Let's skip to the end of the match and see how far they got. 24. They were able to push it all the way to 24. If they had gotten on the tower when we were at 35, remember when we started that clip, they could have potentially won. Them not getting on the tower bit them in the butt. That is why you always hear me say, get on the tower. Number 14. Bombs knock bubblers off the tower. Watch as this bubbler is sent flying from the bomb explosion. Now, when you're actually in the game, don't stand there and watch after you throw a bomb. Move in, attack, 
and pushed the tower back. Hey, that rhymes. Every second counts because what if the bomb didn't send the bubbler flying for some reason and the opponent remains on the tower? You just wasted several seconds standing there idle watching your bomb and the bubbler. So if you throw a bomb at the tower, immediately move in, attack, and push the tower back. Anyway, that's it for now. Remember, this is a team game, so share these videos if you can because a lot of people can benefit from these. And when they do, we will start winning our ranked matches. Love you all. Bye.